Hi Thrifty Friends, it's Laura. I hope you're all doing well. I just have two items to show you today. It's a short one. Um, I have talked in other videos about how we're getting ready to start teaching Miss Haley and Master Jackson to ride this coming summer. And uh, I got lucky the other week and I managed to pick up a beautiful Steuben saddle that I can use to teach the children to ride. It was in the marketplace where my, oh man, it's heavy, um, where my booth is and uh, one of the other um, consigners had it. She had it for $85, but I got it for 75, which was really quite a steal of a deal because this saddle is made by a company called Steuben and they are a world renowned saddle maker. Now this isn't a new saddle by any stretch of the imagination. I expect it's probably 25 years old, but uh, Steuben is just one of those names that if you care for the saddle, it goes on for many, many years. And to uh, my luck, this saddle has recently been restuffed. Is this stuffing in under here? Uh, is originally it comes with wool stuffing and it conforms to the shape of the back of your horse. Uh, there, when it comes to saddles, it's like shoes. If you don't get the right fit, you're in agony. And when a horse is in agony, they buck you off. <laughs> So it's very nice that it's restuffed and it's had a couple of things replaced on it. So it's very healthy saddle. It's in good shape. Uh, saddles are built on a wooden tree uh, or more modern saddles are built on a fiberglass tree. And one of the first things you check when you go to buy a secondhand saddle, you need a couple of people with good strong hands because you kind of twist the saddle and listen. If you can hear something go crick, 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 then your tree is broken and your saddle has no value at all. But this one is sound. It has a great tree. <clears throat> my sister, who's also a lifelong horsewoman, she looked it over. And my friend Fred, who's also a horseman, he looked it over. So the consensus was it was well worth $75. So that's, I'm sorry, I'm not holding it up much. <laughs> but that's it. A nice little saddle needs a needs a good oiling to soften up the leather. The leather's a bit hard, but it's going to be a dandy saddle for the kids to learn to ride in. So just put that down there. Oh, okay. So the second item, and obviously this is my new best friend. And you guys all know how much I love teddy bears. And I've been trying to refrain from checking the teddy bear bin when I'm in the secondhand shops. But I was, I just popped in like ultra quickly yesterday because we had quite a storm and the, the roads were bad. The visibility was bad, but I, I needed a couple of things at the drugstore. So I thought, oh, I'll treat myself to 10 minutes in the op shop. So I looked in the bin where the teddies were and he was sort of sitting like this. And I recognized this label. Can you see that? label it says Mary thought hygienic toy and it's made in England and then it's a registered design I also realized that I was looking at a truly mohair teddy bear this is not an acrylic this is mohair uh, when I saw the label I picked him up and I didn't look any further I didn't want to squeal with excitement because I have found a, a Mary thought one other time in a secondhand store. I found a teddy bear for $2 and this was before the internet. So I took him to a teddy bear convention and had him appraised and he was worth t over $200. So if you, uh, if any of you are into teddy bears at all or you resellers, you probably have all heard of Stife. Stife is the is the bear that's very well known for the the button in the ear, which with older bears are usually lost. But um, and older Stifes can have quite some value, like into the tens of thousands of dollars. And I've uh, only ever laid eyes on on a real Stife once, and that was uh, belonged to a lady that I looked after. She was from Germany, so these were teddies that she had when she was a kid. But Mary Thought is a very old British company. Actually, they've been in business for 90 years now, and they have always 
hand made their teddies and um, they can have quite some value as well, especially the older mohair teddies. So um, I've been doing a little bit of research and it was difficult to find him. I'm sorry, I should describe him for you. He is a, a pajama bag. So these were popular in the 30s, 40s, 50s, a little bit in the 60s. And um, you put your pajamas in when you got up in the morning and then he would sit at the end of your bed. And he's a nice little, he looks terrier-ish to me, some kind of golden terrier. And um, I didn't even notice that his eyes were missing. But the rest of him, this ear has been sewn back on, but uh, that can be fixed up. This is original. The rest of him is in like absolutely excellent shape because during my research, I have ascertained that he is from the 1930s because of the style of the label that he has here. So um, disappointed when I noticed he didn't have his eyes, but when I opened up the zipper, look what's inside his glass eyes. So he can be repaired. And now for the big news, I searched and searched on eBay. There are three um, Stiff pajama bag stuffed toys. They are all well over the 200 range. There was no, none of him. On Etsy, I found him and his selling price is a little over $300. I paid $2 for him. So I just wanted to share my two wonderful finds with you and I'll keep you abreast. I have a friend who's an auctioneer and I'm going to contact him because he does a lot of vintage toys and see what is the best way to market or sell, sell him. I'd love to keep him, but really for that kind of money, he's going to get sold. <laughs> <laughs> so just a quick one today, guys. Everybody take care and we'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.